Hello students, once again welcome to Bhulanath Academy. In this video students, we are going to do the question. What are disaccharides? We have to explain the structure of sucrose, maltose and lactose. So students, first is what are disaccharides? Disaccharides are two units of same or more two units of same are different monosaccharides. Disaccharides are two units. That is why the word is what disaccharide because here it is written two units. Disaccharides are two units of same or different. The unit monosaccharide may be same, it may be different. So disaccharides are two units of same or different monosaccharides. The two monosaccharides units are linked together by an ether oxide linkage. Ether oxide linkage that is we are representing like this and it is also called as what glyco glycosidic linkage. So understanding students ether oxide linkage here we call as what glycosidic linkage so disaccharides are two units of same are different monosaccharides the two monosaccharides units are linked together by ether oxide linkage are called as glycosidic linkage now students we are going to see the first we are going to see the structure of sucrose students what is sucrose in sucrose both the carbonyl group co group is called as carbonyl groups are involved in the formation of glycos glycosidic bond Hence, the sucrose con contains no active group. It does not form any OSA zone and oxime. Hence, sucrose is non-reducing. Why sucrose is non-reducing? Because of this reason. Here, the both the carbonyl which are present in monosaccharides are involved in the bonding. Hence, sucrose having no active group. It does not form any OSA zone and oxime. Hence, the sucrose is what non-reducing sugar. Okay, students. Now we will see the structure. Students, the structure of sucrose is made of three elements. Students, carbon, twelve, hydrogen, twenty-two, and oxygen, eleven. Now this sucrose, sucrose on hydrolysis, acid hydrolysis, it will produce you the two monosaccharide. Or if you don't have acid hydro, you can use the invertase enzyme. Invertase enzyme. So what happens when you are getting two types of monosaccharide, C6H12O6 and C6H12O6. And the first monosaccharide will be your alpha D, alpha D gluco pyranose. And second will be your beta D, beta D fructo, fructo furanose, furanose. Okay, students. Now, if you want to draw the structure of the sucrose, if you want to understand, you should do. You should know the Howarth structure of alpha D glucopyranose and beta D fructo furanose. So, how you will draw, students? Alpha D glucopyranose. So, you know the pyrrhon ring first. First, draw the pyrrhon ring, students. So, this is the pyrrhon ring, and this is your Furon ring. Okay, students, because carbon is tetra valence, so you have to draw the tetra valency like this. This is first carbon, second, third, fourth, fifth, and this will be your six carbon CH two OH. Now, this is the structure of alpha D glucose. Now fill with valency with hydrogen and hydroxyl. So this way, students, you have to fill the valency with hydrogen and hydroxyl. So this will be your alpha D glucose pyranose. Now you have to draw the structure of beta D fructo furanose. Understand, students? Fill the valency students with hydrogen and hydroxyl. So this is the carbon number one, CH2OH. Now hydroxyl will be below. This is first carbon, this is second, third, fourth, fifth, and this is sixth carbon. So this is your alpha D glucopyranose moiety, and this is beta D fructofuranose moiety. What happens students? They will here yeah, the hydroxyl of the alpha D glucopyranose. This react with the hydrogen. Of the beta D fructofuranose and eliminate water molecules, and you will find the structure of sucrose like this. So this way, there is a formation of glycosidic linkage by the elimination of water molecules. Now fill the valency. This will be the possible structure of sucrose. Formula will be C12, yes, 22, and oxygen will be 11. Understand, students. So this way, students, you have to. I have explained the structure of the sucrose. Now, second molecule, students, the structure, structure, structure of maltose, structure of maltose. Structure of maltose. Now we are going to see the structure of maltose, students. Now, same way, students, the formula of molecular formula of maltose will be the similar to molecular formula of sucrose. That is. C, twelve, hydrogen will be twenty-two, oxygen will be eleven. This is the stru structure formula, molecular formula of maltose. On acid hydrolysis, students, what happens? On acid hydrolysis, if you don't have acid, students, you can use the enzyme. 
because it is maltose we have to use maltase as enzyme a s e so this as e shows that this is the enzyme so if you want to break down the maltose students you have to use the enzyme maltase now what happens students you are getting two monosaccharide the formula will be the same c6 h12 o6 here also c6 h12 o6 because of the different structure formula the compound will be alpha d glucoparanose this will be your alpha d gluco pyranose and your second monosaccharide will be also alpha d gluco pyranose okay students now if you want to draw the structure of maltose students you have to take the help of these structures if alpha d glucose and alpha d glucose how they are combining and they are forming the maltose structure so students what happens students what will be the possible structure of alpha d glucoparanose so students you have to draw the pyrrone ring again this is the pyrrone ring students you have to draw the two pyrrone because it is also alpha d glucoparanose so this way students you have to draw the pyrrone ring students now what happens students because carbon is tetravalency you have to draw the tetravalency like this this way you have to draw the tetravalency everywhere there is carbon is what tetravalence this is the carbon number 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 will be yes yes 2 oh now this is h oh hydrogen will be above and hydroxyl will be below in third carbon oh will be above and hydrogen will be below so this is the structure of alpha d glucoparanose same way here also students this is carbon number 1 3 2 3 4 5 and this is 6 yes 2 oh understanding students now this is h oh h oh hydroxyl will be above okay students now what happens students when they both monosaccharide will combine by the elimination they will condense by eliminating water molecules understanding students by eliminating water molecules and they will form the structure of maltose very simple structure students this is the structure very simple students to pyrrone ring you have to just draw like this okay students here yeah, because oxygen will be the linkage glycosidic linkage will be like this hydrogen hydrogen draw the tetravalency this way students you have to draw the tetravalency very simple here also students this is carbon number 1 this is carbon number 1 2 3 4 5 five, and this is 6 here this is the carbon number 1 2 3 4 5 5 and 6 will be here students so now here students there is a because here the alpha carbon this is the alpha carbon students which is involved in the bonding here and here this is the fourth carbon so the the name of this glycosidic bond will be will be alpha 1 4 glycosidic linkages it is called as alpha 1 4 glycosidic linkages or you can also say bond the name of this bond will be alpha 1 4 glycosidic bond so with the help of this these two monosaccharides are bonded with each other and they will show the structure of maltose understand students so this is, this is the structure of the maltose now students we are going to see the structure of lactose the structure of lactose you should know the reaction you should know the formula of lactose lactose c12 hydrogen will be 22 oxygen will be 11 c12 h22 o11 this is the lactose students the formula will be the same structure formula will be different how the structure formula is different that we are going to see when you lactose will go on hydrolysis students on acid hydrolysis in presence of suppose you don't have acid hydrolysis so you can use the enzyme lactase so lactase also break down this disaccharide into monosaccharide so you are getting two monosaccharide that is c6h12o6 c6h12o6 now here students this will be the beta galactose this is the beta gal beta d galactose and second monosaccharide will be beta d glucose beta d glucose okay students so, so these two sacrides are the students when you writing in howarth projection formula structure will be like this students beta d galactose you can write like this this is the structure students again you are in beta galactose students you have to draw the pyrrone ring this is the pyrrone ring students now you have to draw the in beta d glucose pyrrone here also you have to draw the pyrrone ring okay students because carbon is tetravalence you have to draw the tetravalency like this This is carbon number one, two, three, four, five, and six will be yes, yes, two O H. In beta d glucose students, since it is beta, so hydro hydroxy will be above and hydrogen will be below. Okay students.
so this is the structure of beta d galactose in the form of pyronose pyron form now same way students beta d glucose structure here also because of beta students the oh will be above and hydrogen will be below this is first carbon second third fourth fifth and sixth will be here the students now fill the valency with hydrogen and hydroxyl so this way students you have to fill the valency with hydrogen and hydroxyl okay students now what happens students and what happens here the hydroxyl of the beta d galactose react with hydrogen of the beta d galactose by the removal of water molecules they will condense and when they will condense they will form the glycosidic bond students here the carbon number one combines with the carbon number four understanding students so it is called as beta one four glycosidic linkage a beta one four glycosidic bond understanding students because here they are containing methylene group here the carbonyl compounds are not involved that is why it is a reducing group they are reducing sugars now what happens This is the structure of lactose students. The formula will be C12, O22, H22, hydrogen will be 22 and oxygen will be 11. So this is the structure of, because it is containing 1,4 so, and here it is beta. So the link is in bond will be beta. This way students, I have explained the structure of the lactose. If you like my video, please share it, subscribe it. Thank you, thank you very much. Have a nice day. God bless you.